How to add extras to PowerPoint. This video is going to show you how to add extras to a PowerPoint presentation. One thing you can do to make your PowerPoint more interesting is to change the color of the text. Click on the text and highlight the word or the sentence that you want to change the color of. Then go up to the Home tab on the toolbar and click on the A. When you click on the arrow next to the A, you'll see a selection of colors drop down. Here, you can select a new color. You can also change the font style. To change the style of the font, you can either highlight the word or words you want to change, or you can click on the edges of the box, and this highlights the entire box. Then go up to the Home tab in the toolbar and click on the arrow that's above the B, I, U, and S. This will open a huge selection of different fonts. You can scroll through this list until you find a font you like. To change the font size, highlight the word or words you want to change. Then go to the Home tab in the toolbar and click on the arrow next to the number in the box above the B, I, U, and S. Select the size you want, then click back on your presentation. You can also change the size of your font by using the A's with the up and down arrows after you have highlighted the word or words you want to change. You can also make words bold, italicize them, underline them, or even add a shadow to them. To make a word or words bold, click B. To italicize a word, or words, click I. To underline a word or words, click U. You can also add hyperlinks to a slide. Let's say you found a very interesting website about ducks and you want to add it to your presentation. To do this, first go to that website and highlight the URL. Then, right-click and select Copy. Next, go back to your PowerPoint. Find the line you want to add the link to and highlight it. Next, right-click, go down to Hyperlink and paste the URL where it says Address. Right-click again and select Paste. Then hit OK. The line is now a different color and it's underlined to indicate that it's a hyperlink, which will take you to the website. You can also put transitions into a PowerPoint to make it more interesting. To add transitions, go to the toolbar and click on the Transitions tab. Transitions are the way in which you move from one slide to the next when you present your PowerPoint. You can click on the transition to see what it's going to look like on your slide. Once you've found a transition that you like, you can add it to another slide. Just remember to click on the slide that you want to add the transition to. Before you present, it's a good idea to check your presentation to make sure your transitions and animations are working. Remember to save your file before you close it. If you close a file without saving it, all of your changes will be lost. These are the basic steps for adding extras to PowerPoint. Now it's your turn to try it. Remember, if you have any questions, you can watch this video again or ask your teacher for help.